Hi, this is Pragati and today's video is about a PhD in Economics at IIM versus a PhD in Economics at IIT. Before I start this video, I would like to clarify two things. Number one, whatever I'm going to discuss in this video is my perspective and this is just one perspective. So I'll suggest that you please do your own research and try to look at things through your own lens. Number two, a choice between two colleges is based on a number of factors such as whether your research interest matches with one of the professors there, uh, whether the location is suitable for you since it's a long term commitment of 5 whole years and your personal preferences about career and life. Institution A might be suitable for one candidate considering all these factors while at the same time it might not be suitable for the other candidate. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the factors that I considered while choosing a PhD at IIM versus a PhD at IIT. The comparison in this video is in context of the top 3 IIMs and top 3 IITs in the NIRF ranking 2020-21 which are IIM Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Calcutta and IIM Delhi, Kharagpur and Bombay. Any opinion expressed in this video which has not been supported by facts is personal. Let's start with the comparison of the structure of the PhD program. At IITs, the students are expected to score about 18 credits in their coursework, which is approximately 6 courses, while say at IIM Bangalore, uh, we are expected to complete about 18 courses in the coursework over a period of 2 years. Now one might argue here that, uh, okay Pragati, I am a master's in econ and I have already studied all these courses in my master's. Why should I waste two years over a coursework and I want to start my thesis as soon as possible? I have two responses to this argument. Number one, the courses in a master's program are not designed from a research point of view, while the courses in a PhD program are designed so as to give you an idea of the literature in that area and help you explore whether you would be interested in working in that area. Plus, there are some specialized courses which are not covered during your master's. So, if in case you join the PhD program and you don't know which area you want to work on, then this coursework can help you explore your research interests very well. If in case you know your research interests and you're very sure whom do you want to work with, then also nobody is stopping you from doing that. You can work on your thesis along with the coursework. Your dissertation advisory committee will be formed only after your coursework ends. But you can talk to the professor you want to work with and make progress towards your thesis as a part of your term papers, your independent studies and your research assistance work. Number two, if you are thinking that the duration of the coursework is very long and once it ends after two years, then you will start working on your thesis and ultimately your PhD will take a lot of time as compared to other institutions, then let me clarify that that is not true. It will take only 5 years to finish your PhD given that you are working in the right direction and you are working consistently on your thesis. In fact, mostly places in US also have a 2 year coursework. Basically, you need a set of quantitative skills and some basic idea about different areas in econ irrespective of whichever area you are working on to do your thesis. At the places where you start working on your thesis from day 1, you develop these skills first and then you apply it to your thesis. While in case of a coursework, you learn all these skills during your coursework and then apply them to your thesis when you start it after the coursework. So ultimately, it's the same thing. For example, I wanted to read certain books on probability and multivariate stats for my thesis. I could have picked up these books from the library and read them up myself. But what I did, because I wanted to finish 18 courses for my coursework, I opted for courses which covered these books from the decision science area during my coursework. And in fact, these courses provided me a push to finish these books in 3 months because I had to write an exam in the end. So in short, ultimately the duration of the PhD turns out to be the same irrespective of the 2 year coursework. My second criteria was stipend and conference grants. The stipend offered by IIM Bangalore is about 5000 per month higher as compared to what IITs are offering and the conference grant is also higher comparatively. The conference grant at IIM Bangalore is up to 60,000 for a national conference and 1,50,000 for an international conference. 
I don't know the exact figures for IITs. Any student from IIT who is watching and would like to tell about it can text it in a comment below. Plus, the approval of grants and reimbursements is very quick at IIMs. I can't comment how it happens at IITs. My third criteria was brand value. Undoubtedly, IIMs have a greater brand value as compared to the management department at IITs. And not just in India, they have a reputation internationally. I am ABC, featured in the top 100 B schools worldwide in FT Global Rankings and QS Rankings. Regarding placements, I am not on the job market yet, but based on what I have heard from my seniors and my professors, nothing matters at the end of the day except publications. And publications depend on the effort of an individual and whether you are working on an important question in the right direction. The research environment offered by an institution and your peer group definitely matters because it pushes you to work hard towards a publication when you see people around you publishing. While it's true that there is a greater proportion of IIM graduates as compared to IIT graduates in the faculty at leading B schools in India, but that is because those people passed out with publications or they had papers in pipeline. One option that I did not have when I joined my PhD program and now it's available so you guys can consider it while choosing your PhD program is that I am Bangalore provides a degree in Masters in Management Research in case you plan to quit after 2 years that is after your coursework. So if in case you join your PhD program and you end up realizing that it's not meant for you so if in case you plan to quit you will have something in your hand once you leave. At last one personal reason that I had for choosing a PhD at IIMS is that I had already worked uh, for one year as an assistant to one of the professors at IIM Hyderabad and I was highly fascinated by the discipline, the work culture and the entire B-school vibe there and uh, being a part of a university for all five years throughout my graduation and post-graduation, it was all very new for me and I really wanted to be a part of it. With this, we come to the end of this video and you can drop your doubts in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.